Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, for this video today, I wanna to talk about why if you are a YouTuber or a recording artist or anyone else who owns a microphone, why you may want to own also a white noise machine or at least a white noise app on your phone. Now, this is actually uh, not my idea at all. I'm only passing on info from the audio greats from uh, Curtis Judd whose YouTube channel I'm an enormous, enormous fan of. The other YouTube channel um, I really love for everything audio related is Sound Speeds. I'm gonna put links to both those guys in the video description because I've just learned so much from both of them. Um, but something that Curtis Judge does in a lot of his videos, and I never thought about doing myself, and then I realized I totally could because I happen to own a number of uh, white noise machines, is using a white noise maker to learn the polar pattern or the pickup pattern of your uh, microphone. Now, I explained um, in one of these videos recently, I bought this Audio Technica AT2020 a couple of months ago. And, you know, I kind of did what probably a lot of people do when they buy microphones. You take one look at the user manual and, you know, the polar pattern diagram, which has all the degrees. And you say, OK, I got it. It's uh, this type of microphone. And you throw it in the bin. And that, unfortunately, was a bad move because I uh, was watching a, another YouTube video a couple of nights ago on the top mistakes you do not want to make with the Audio-Technica AT2020, starting with not using phantom power. And there I was thinking I'm very smug, I don't need to watch this video. And tip two was make sure you're not speaking into the back of the microphone. And I said, lo and behold, I am speaking into the back of this microphone. Now, what would have saved me from this fate would have been to stick on a pair of monitoring headphones after I bought this microphone and do a white noise test, which is what I'm gonna do now. So. Here's my um, friendly white noise generator. I own the Electrofan. I use it to block um, annoying noise going on outside my office, which happens probably about 30% of the time. Uh, but uh, if you don't want to use a dedicated standalone white noise generator, you could totally just uh, use your phone. And for the purpose of this demo, I just have it, uh, I have my Electrofan plugged into a power bank here. Now, the, I'm gonna turn this on in a second. The idea, of learning the polar pattern with this is you wanna bring your uh, white noise machine around the microphone so you can figure out, firstly, where the pickup is good. Secondly, how good the off-axis rejection is. In other words, the areas that are supposed to be outside the polar pattern, how good is it actually rejecting sound? What kind of a difference is it? Now, for instance, if I was smarter when I went into owning the Audio-Technica AT2020, I would have learned two things. Firstly, this is what's called a side address uh, microphone, which means you're supposed to speak into the side. I'm f fact, possibly a little bit too high. It's not a top or end address microphone, which would be a microphone that's intended to speak in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna turn on my white noise maker in a second. I'm going to firstly put the white noise maker here. So you should be able to see how the audio sounds coming from its intended position in the front and side address. Secondly, I'm going to move the white noise maker here so you guys can hear what, how much uh, worse the audio sounds when I am speaking from the front. Secondly, I'm gonna move it to the sides of the microphone uh, so that you can hear how that off-axis rejection is from both side directions. Finally, I'm going to bring the white noise machine right on top, simulating speaking into the microphone incorrectly as if it were a top address microphone. And finally, just so that you can, you can hear the difference between speaking right up to the microphone, I'm literally almost touching the foam, and speaking at a distance, I'm going to bring the microphone to a few commonly recommended speaking differences distances. One of them is going to be four fingers. Then I'm gonna do one fist. And then I'm going to do about two fists, which is probably the way I'd naturally tend to, the kind of natural distance I would tend to keep if I had it set up like I do now on my desk. So let's go. White noise machine is on and I'm going to step back so that you're going to be hearing the white noise machine and not my voice. So that, that was back pickup and now we're going to do front pickup, the wrong side of the microphone. I can actually bring it around so you can hear the difference clearly. front. 
I hope that was uh, useful. So now we're, we're now we're going to compare front pickup with, uh, and this is again a side address microphone. We're going to compare uh, side address with incorrect top or end address. I can just see looking at the level meter here the, the difference is keeping roughly the same distance between the microphone and the white noise generator much more efficient pickup uh, in the side address as intended finally let's take a quick listen to the off-axis rejection I'm going to um, it shouldn't be any different based on the uh, polar pattern but I'm going to pick put the white noise generator firstly in the back then I'm going to move over to the right side then the left side and then just to wrap up this comparison I'm going to move it all around 360 degrees so you can hear all the differences Yeah, I've accidentally changed the type of white noise, but it shouldn't make a difference. This is more like brown noise, deeper frequencies. Finally, let's just use this guy for a proximity test. I'm going to test the proximity of the picker pattern in its intended pickup area, the front of the microphone, and also in the back. Actually, I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna test the front. There you go guys that is how that is why um, it may be useful if you're trying to learn the polar pattern of your new microphone to have a white noise generator either using one of the apps on your phone or buying a standalone white noise generator move it around look at the polar pattern diagram and then move your white noise generator as you monitor the audio or as you record and play back listening to the differences between the various sides just so you can get a good feel for where the intended pickup zone of the microphone is how good it is at rejection and other characteristics of the microphone that it may be useful to know before you go and record a bunch of audio with it hope that video was useful if you do want to subscribe for uh, more videos about video videography audio and related subjects do consider hitting that subscribe button thank you guys very much for staying with me and watching this video